guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Last time we played, we performed a hit in Russia. Well, guess what? We're still there. And we're gonna be here for a while, so get used to it. Alright. And the next level is Kirov Mar Park Meeting. It's kind of a boring title, and it's well, kind of a boring stage, I guess, once you figure it out. But I'll let Diana explain a little more. Here we go, 47. First of all, on behalf of all of us at Agency, thanks for continuing with us to clean up all this mess. You are required to return to St. Petersburg. It seems that your previous assassination really scared the remaining generals. They have all begun their own investigations into what happened. Our client is pretty unhappy about this. We need to stop these generals fast. We've received information that one of them, General Makarov, is to meet a local mafia boss to buy some protection and hopefully info on who could have carried out the hit. They have a preferred meeting point in Kirov Park, nice, secluded, and out in the open. We've got some old spy footage on them meeting previously for your reference. Our intelligence says they are scheduled to meet in Kirov Park at 1400 hours today, local time. Check your map. They will both be arriving in armored Zil 115 limos, but in separate motorcades. Watch out for roadblocks and patrolling guards. You will find your equipment down by the pier. 47, I repeat, intercept the meeting and eliminate both targets. All right. You know, Diana sounds more like a stern mother than a sexy secret agent handler like she did in Absolution. Not that it's better or worse, it's just a difference, I noticed. Um, let's check out the target video, see see what the people look like who we're gonna kill. Alright. <laughs> the general looks like he's cruising for a date right now. And here comes his date. Oh, yeah, you know, nothing unusual about this. Just a general in full dress uniform talking to some guy, you know. Oh, how's the weather? That's yeah, not bad, yeah. It's, it's okay, it's all right. Oh, I like your hat. It cost me $2,000. You better like it. All right, let's go make out. Come on. All right. Um, so here's the gangster in question. Igor Butafuko, whatever. <laughs> nice mustache, dude. And General Makarov. Well, this guy looks pretty familiar. I mean, he should look familiar. We, uh, you know, we saw him just the last level. We, we didn't shoot him in the face, though, so I guess we get to do that this time. And, of course, the area map. Let's take a look around here. Um, huh. Seems to be on an island or something. Kirov Park. I wonder if that's a real place. I know I tried to look up a place from the last level, but all I got was Hitman 2 references, so uh, I'm not sure if it's just a very obscure place that exists because that never gets mentioned except for Hitman 2 because it's so obscure, or if it's a place that was made up for Hitman 2. Anyway, here's our stash. We'll be getting to that uh, real soon. Uh, let's begin. Let's, let's get ready. All right. Oh, right. Okay. Um, well, for this... Okay, I'm going to show two different ways to kill our targets. Um, the first way, we don't really need anything except the anesthetic, so let's get this. And everything else we need will be provided for us. Let's get okay. All right, showing up in a motorboat like a boss. I wonder if he's cold only wearing that suit. He must be wearing something warm underneath, like Under Armour or something. I know I got a couple of cold gear shirts that I like to wear when I don't want to dress heavy, but I still want to be warm. Maybe that's what he's wearing. Alright, so... Here's, uh, the General's limo, pulling around. But, uh, we're not gonna pay him too much mind right now. He'll get his in a second. Now, uh, this guy over here is going to give us trouble if we cross the street and get onto that sidewalk there. Uh, we're not allowed to be there. 
And he's going to take his sweet time uh, walking around. But he's going to turn his back eventually. And when he does, we're going to sneak around. Because that's what we do. We're sneaky. All right. There we go. He goes off there to guard someplace else. Now over here we get all sorts of shit, but all we need are the car bombs. Here we go. Now, I'll say more about the sniping later on, but I'm not even going to use the Dragon off rifle. I'm just going to bring my own because it's actually faster to do. Just a heads up there. Okay, so it's easy to get lost in these swords, so let's take a look at the map real quick. This is the first spot we want to go to. So, off we go to put these car bombs to use. And the limousines have arrived uh, where they're going to be for the next, I don't know, four or five minutes. We really don't have a lot of time. That's why this stage is a little, uh, eh. You know, you can experiment with things, but... Uh, if they get even the least bit spooked, they will run away. Now, as luck would have it, the general parked his limo right on top of an open manhole. So I guess that's just the way Russia is. They can't really afford uh, lids for manholes. There we go. It must be kind of dangerous walking around the streets of St. Petersburg, right? Oh, God damn it! Oh, it sounds like someone's tired up there. <laughs> Probably not as tired as me, though. <sighs> Just had to take a caffeine pill. Wake myself up a little bit here. Alright, so the next part we want to go to is here. And I'm going to cut that section out because it's kind of a long ways away. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so here we are. At our next destination. Now, we're not so lucky this time with the general. I, I mean, with the mobster. Igor Butafuko did not have his, his guys park his limo right on top of a manhole. But we still have a way to plant the bomb. Now, the mobster's bodyguards, they're not so sharp. They don't really pay attention to who they're working with. You know, nobody ever pays attention to the, the valet. Nobody cares what he thinks. So if we were to dress up as him, uh, we'd have no problem getting close to that limo and playing the bomb, you know? Now, fortunately for us, the valet's got a small bladder. Or maybe... Maybe he's just been drinking a lot of water. I mean, it's cold, too, so body's got to get rid of uh, all that urea some other way other than sweat, right? So, uh, he's going to come over here and he's going to take a leak. Nothing wrong with that. Let it drain the lizard, you know? And we're going to be ready for him. Now, it's not that we're not allowed to be back here, but uh, he will take quite an interest in us if he sees us there. He will look back at us. I mean, it's kind of awkward <laughs> trying to take a piss while someone's staring at you, right? And, uh, we're gonna wait for him to come around that fucking corner. Here he comes. There he comes. Whew. Yeah, people in Hitman 2 walk so slowly. My god. Of course, I think I've been conditioned to expect everything to be super fast. I mean, that's the way video games are nowadays, right? You can't fucking get away from me. There we go. That might have ruined my silent assassin rating, but that's okay. We've got another chance to do that when I snipe the motherfuckers. Go to sleep, you fucking prick. There we go. I was trying to use a... a trick where uh, if you loop 47's 
stopping animation, you can actually move silently. And uh, I failed to do that. It's not easy to do, but once you get the hang of it, you can really speed up your sneaking game. I guess I still need to practice. Anyway, I'll plant this bomb here. And nobody seems to notice uh, 47 sticking a, an object the size of a large Christmas present underneath the car, so that's all right. And they don't seem to mind me running either. <laughs> oh, no, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. All right, I think we're home free. Better get back into our suit, though. And hope he doesn't come around the corner and find his friend naked in the snow. Alright, now that, uh... Wow, that threat bar doesn't want to go down, does it? That guy was really disturbed by that guy running, huh? I mean, you'd think, uh... You'd think they realize that the valet just has a small bladder. He's often... Oftentimes running off to go to the bathroom. But, oh boy. Whew. On the one hand, I like to play these levels live. But on the other hand, Hitman 2 really is uh, kind of slow, you know? I think I'm going to try post commentary at the next video just to see how that works out. All right, so here comes Mr. Tough Guy Mafioso, motherfucker. Oh, and there's our bomb right there. Whew, I wonder if he can shoot the bombs. Probably. Oh, is he getting in the, the, the front seat? That's weird. you'll notice, uh, one of the bodyguards, the one closest to the, uh, the one closest to the car was blown up too, but, uh, you don't, you don't get penalized, oh, and there goes the general's limo too, you don't get penalized for his death, so, no need to worry there. I guess these explosions are classified as accidents, even though, I mean, a fucking explosion clearly isn't an accident. All right, so once those two uh, motherfuckers are blown up, all you have to do is head back here and leave. That's all you got to do. Let's head on out here. Oh, I still got Silent Assassin. Probably because I was playing on normal. If I was playing on professional, maybe not so much. Great. Okay, so in a, in a minute, I'll be seeing you with uh, the sniping run-through of the game. Uh, see you in a second. And we're back, and here's our beautiful double-barrel sawn-off shotgun. Huh, kind of looks like it was pulled from a, an episode of The Godfather, huh? With their Luparas, or something like that. Uh, okay, um, right, so... This time, we're gonna snipe... Uh, those guys, and they do provide us with a uh, an SVD Dragon off rifle, but we can save time by bringing our own weapon. And <clears throat> this pistol is also going to expediate our run through the game because honestly, speed is the most important thing. If you're feeling merciful, you can bring the anesthetic instead of the the pistol. Um, but I'm not feeling merciful, and I don't... Let's see if I can get him down here. There we go. Alright. Alright, so, let's take a quick look at the map, see where we're heading. I'm actually going to head all the way over here, on the, on the other side of the map. I'm not going to make you watch me run through the sewers, so... I'll see you guys in a minute. Hold on. All right.
right. Here we are, finally. Now, there are two guards down that way, but they can't see us. They're far too short-sighted. They need their carrots when they were little, and now they can barely see a thing. This guy over here is our only problemo. You know, I guess I could have, uh, I guess I could have brought my, uh, my anesthetic. Um, I was thinking that he was going to head a different direction, but he didn't. So, uh, what, well, whatever, I mean, you live and you learn, right? Either way, one, one guard shot in the head won't penalize us, won't penalize our score. So, we climb our way up here. And we're going to get a great view of the meeting. Now, there's another place you can take a shot from. Uh, there is a church on the other side of the map. But the problem with that is that when you take the shot, uh, a lot of guards nearby will hear you and they'll all go running up the stairs to see who took the shot. Um, <laughs> needless to say, well, not needless to say, but th there's one exit in the church, actually. One exit one entrance, and you find yourself uh, having to shoot your way through a, uh, just a wall of guards. So, I'm going to point my reticle at this spot here. It's near where they tend to stop and talk. Because it takes a while for 47 to steady his nerves, as you can see. I guess, uh, the agency doesn't never provides 47 with pentasmin or whatever solid snake had. And I'm gonna try to take the shot and not fuck up. Nice. Two targets, one bullet. And because we took out that guard near the base of this tower, uh, no one's around to hear it. Absolutely no one is aware of what transpired oh boy all right let's head out here and all we have to do now is just go back exactly the way we came so uh, I'll cut that out and see you guys later I guess Okay, and we're back. Now, the only left thing we're left to do is to poke our hat out and hope no one's looking. Alright. Alright. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. You know what? Terrorist run, bitch! Oh. Die. Die! Yeah. Come on, who else wants some, huh? Let's make this a terrorist run. Oh god, I, I fucking died. Well, you look at that. I lost. Oh well. I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Uh, someone just saw me. Oh, my God. No, oh, now they both saw me. Danny is a Uh oh, here he comes. I suspect both guards and souls from the dark. Uh, sure, I understand perfectly. I was just leaving the line. Hey! What the fuck are you doing? Stupid. Danny's gone. Throw away all that money? What the? You have to be so hostile. Why don't you introduce you to my friends?